Hey guys, um, I, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to uh, throw something up. Uh, just a quick channel update. I have moved recently. Um, as a long story short, I, I moved out of Boston. I'm up in Maine now. So hopefully that's going to mean uh, some better things as far as what I can can legally carry and own and, um, and so on. And also uh, should mean that I'm going to get a lot more backpacking, hiking, and outdoor videos in. So uh, hopefully I'm going to start posting more videos soon. And uh, I wanted to kick things off with an updated EDC video because I haven't done one in a while. So just to start things out, put the spider crow box here so you'd have something to look at while I'm giving the update. Um, but I will show for the first item here. One knife that I've been carrying in rotation that you guys haven't seen is the uh, the Manix 2 Translucent, and it's a really great knife. I uh, might do a separate breakup video. Um, you can see a CTS BD1. The steel's been really good for me so far. Um, it came the the knife came it, pretty sharp. I'd say the the lock is fantastic. Uh, the ball bearing lock. It actuates really well, um, and when you uh, disengage it, the, the knife swings pretty freely too. So I've been very happy with it. Um, the great thing about the translucent scales, uh, these are the lighter um, uh, plastic scales, so this knife is in incredibly light. Again, I'll probably break it out into its own video, but um, that's first and foremost as my larger uh, knife that I'm carrying most recently, Manix 2 translucent. Along with that, I usually do like to carry another smaller knife so that I'm not whipping this thing out for every little task that I have um, and, and, you know, weirding people out. So uh, you have seen on my channel before, Spyderco Balance. It's a great knife for that. Incredibly small um, and compact and out of the way. You don't even know that you have it on you most of the time. Um, and this is also another one, too, that if somebody has to use a knife for some reason and ask me for one, um, it's a pretty uh, easy knife to give to somebody to borrow because um, it's not intimidating at all and it, it's pretty easy to, to uh, open and close. It's not going to whip out. Um, so the two of these together are uh, what I have for the most part as far as knives. Along the same lines and with a blade included, I do carry the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Um, so you can see here, this does have a blade in it. Uh, along with that, it's got some other great tools, file, um, fantastic scissors. Let me just pull in my other hand here. You can see those great little scissors. They're, I mean, they're small, but very capable. Um, and the other good thing about the PS4 is the great set of pliers. And I, you know, I can't tell you how many times before carrying a multi-tool I wish I had one on me. And even with a small set of pliers, they're very useful um, in day-to-day -day tasks. So definitely check it out. Pretty inexpensive, incredibly small package. One of the other things I have in my EC is a chapstick. You can see PS4 alongside a chapstick. And then for that matter, Spyderco Balance with your chapstick. Very, very small and very capable. Um, along the same line of tools, my Gerber Shard. I've shown this multiple times as well. Um, very good. Most useful thing is the pry tool. Uh, anytime that you are thinking that you want to pry something, you don't have to use your knife. Use this instead. Other good thing about this is the Phillips head screwdriver. You can uh, use this side as just a flathead as well, um, but this is a very capable Phillips. And then just house keys, etc. Uh, I would usually have my car key with me as well, um, but my, my better half has the car right now. The Quirk Tactical uh, QTLC. I've shown this before as well. I might do another breakup video just on this one. Um, again, using our chapstick as comparison. There you go. Uh, fantastic light. If you have any other questions on it, throw it down in the comments. If I get enough questions, I'll probably do a breakup video on that. 
Zippo lighter, self-explanatory. Um, I've carried a Zippo with me uh, since I was a teenager. It's equal parts fun and useful. And then the last thing, um, other than my iPhone 5, which I'm using to film this, so I, I do have that with me, but you're not going to see it in the video because it's taking the video. I've just got my wallet, um, and then inside of my wallet, and I try and do this without showing you all my personal info, I do carry just right in the, uh, in the fold right here, I have a Fisher Bullet Space Pen. Um, great little pen. I've got a couple of these now. They are fantastic. A little expensive for a pen, but it, it lasts a really long time. Um, and it's uh, the pressurized cartridge, so it works really well. The other thing that I carry up next to the pen is just some pieces of paper. And you can you know, do a lot with paper if you had to take notes on anything. Um, I also carry some important phone numbers written on the paper. So if for whatever reason my phone dies, I lose my phone, and I come across somebody who has a phone or a pay phone or whatever, um, if I have to have emergency phone numbers, I have them written down here and they're not all lost just in my, in my phone. Um, so another maybe important thing to think about. So uh, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions, again, leave it down in the comment section. Um, and I will uh, try and get back to you with some more videos as soon as possible. Thanks to all the new subscribers. And thanks for sticking around if you subscribed a while ago. Um, and again, I'll, I'll uh, catch you with a new video as soon as I can.